Okay, Salawam, Salawam, Kwame Asala, Koholo Yimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Chacha Kodash, the Ba'anas who are apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, to the best of their ability. Zachana, and the wife just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just wanted to just touch on this quick lesson. Um, going off into Esau. Edom, the so-called white man. That's the biblical name for the so-called white man. The scriptures talks about he came out red and hairy. And his twin brother Jacob, which is the progenitor of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know, those twins from Rebecca and Isaac are pretty much the course of what's going on in the world between this this spiritual fight of, of of love and hate so to speak right but our people the so-called blacks are pretty much you know like one of the only races that can give birth to what would appear to be a so-called white child and a so-called black child at the same time because that's what the twins were you know now this couple right here says black couple who gave birth to a white baby now they're going through a few things. As you can see, they dark as hell. <laughs> and there's, um, you know, supposedly from Nigeria. But let's get the YouTube um, hookup. Now the doc, these doctors, I can go into a little bit of that. These doctors was trying to really figure out like what happened. Like how could this be possible? Now there are um, a few different scenarios that could have went down. That could have happened. You know what I'm saying? Either between this mom or this dad could be a damn Edomite. A third, gen a third fourth, fifth generation Edomite. Second generation Edomite, which is the so-called white person, you know, because your progenitor, your race goes by your dad. One of these people could have a dad that goes back to being a so-called white man, of course, you know, because of slavery and things of that nature, you know. And then as that, you know, that they, they kind of intermingled and mixed with someone darker, you know, some of that dark color came back. But you are what your dad is, and that's what we're going to go into. But let's get some of the video real quick. T. <laughs> Okay. We feel we feel excited having new baby, and at the same time, um, a bit kind of uh, having having not too much to say. I mean, knowing not what to say from the what comes out of uh, <laughs> the birth. What do, you, what do you think, Angela? First time you see Machi? Well, first time I saw the baby, I'm happy. I have a baby. At the same time, uh, I was surprised to see the blonde hair. Even uh, when I um, was in my room, when they came to me, some people that saw me there and saw the baby said, ah, uh, it was a strange and a surprise that did I marry a white? Is my husband a white man? I said, no. Said, How come? I said, I don't know. This is um, just the way I saw the baby. So, and, and you then, when you first saw Machi, what did you think? Well, it was almost the same like she was being surprised and at the same time happy to have a new baby but uh, it was still confusing that we have a blonde, you know, in a complete black family. <laughs> but um, so but um, I had to ask questions because I never knew actually what it is about. And, uh, <laughs> and you know one of the questions he's asked, which you been with a white man? <laughs> But anyway, hey, but like I said, you know, there's a few scenarios. Now, one scenario could be that, hey, she could have slipped out on homeboy and went ahead, you know, got, got with a so-called white dude. Now, other than that, if that, if the so-called, if the father right here, if he's, if he goes back to slavery and his forefather, great, great grandfather or somebody like that was an Edomite, a so-called white man, then he's an Edomite. And that gene just happened to just, you know, come through with this particular child. Now, if that's the case. He's going into slavery in the, in the kingdom and that baby is going into slavery in the kingdom. <laughs> or if he's, you know, it, he, he, he could be an Israelite, you know, because like I said, he's, you know, they're Nigerians and a lot of our people are over there. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Israelites are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth anyway. But if he's an Israelite, that baby is an Israelite. And, and the scenario could be she comes from, um, a, 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 you know, third or fourth generation slavery sexual encounter and you know 
And she's a damn um, Edomite because you got Edomites out here that look this color. And that's why this is not a color thing. You see what I'm saying? When it comes to the Hebrew Israelites, this is not a color thing. You have to get that out of your mind. This is a DNA thing that goes by Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, man. And if you come from that seed line, then you are an Israelite. If you come from Abraham, Isaac and Esau. Then you're an Edomite and you're going into slavery in the kingdom, man, to go along with all the other heathen nations. Now. Let's get this because now th there's proof that so-called blacks, because they, the uh, Hebrew Israelites were dark, melanated people back in the ancient day. But what happened with um, the twins, Esau and Jacob. Hey, what up, though? You all right? That's what's up. So that goes off into um, Genesis 25 and 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. So see, he came out red. Matter of fact, in the NLT, it gives it a little bit more di um, distinct description. It says the first one was very red at birth and covered with thick hair like a fur coat. So they named him Esau. And then it also goes off into his secondary name. You know, his secondary name is they called him um Edom, which goes off into red. Matter of fact, let me see if that's, uh, I think that's Genesis 27. Not exactly sure. Uh, let me see here. Well, you know what? Hold up. Let me see here. Let me just put in Edom real quick. I'm 25. Yeah, that, yeah, it was 25, so lucky I should have stayed where I was. Genesis 25 and 30. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. See, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. Let me go into that real quick and see what the NLT says on that. Because this goes off into his secondary name, which means red. And the NLT over here, it says, Esau said to Jacob, I'm starved. Give me some of that red stew. This is how Esau got his other name, Edom, which means red. Because when you look at so-called, we call them so-called white people because they're not actually white. They're actually red. When you look, look at them, and especially during the summer, all these hot ass days, check out how they look, man. They out here looking like brake lights on an ambulance right now, man. A damn cherry looking like the top of a damn thermometer that's about to pop. You see, that's their real look. But what did they do? They gave you these connotations of white. We're pure. We're innocent. Then they give you the negative connotation of being black. You're negative. You're, you know, void of light. You're not spiritual. You're deathly. You know, you're dusty. You're dirty. These are negative connotations. No one's actually white and no one's actually black. There are different shades of red people and different shades of um, brown people. And this is what we, we try and bring out by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot because that's a stumbling block to our people. See, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he has to be you know, um, identify and the Lord is, see, it, it's always been, well, it's been something that's been secret, something that's been covered up throughout the centuries where they don't want to be known as Esau Edom, because when it goes off into the scriptures, it goes off into telling, you know, you, telling you that the end of the world is Esau and the beginning of it thereof is Jacob. So their world is ending right now. They're at the end of their world. They're at the end of their kingdom. Then there comes Jacob. The so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. And once we rule, it's going to be forever. It's going to be an everlasting kingdom. And they're going to be an everlasting bondage until that thousand year reign is up. You know, they're going to get a thousand years of building up our kingdom. And then they're going to be destroyed, man. They're going to have to pay double time for what they've done to the Hebrew Israelites because they've done us all kinds of treacherous. Now, during slavery, a lot of so-called white men had sex with our women. And there are a lot, that's why we say there are a lot of chocolate covered Edomites. That's what we call them, chocolate covered Edomites, because there's a lot of people out here that you might think is a so-called black person, but they're actually a so-called white person. And there are a lot of people out here that you think that are um, so-called blacks that are um, actually so-called white people. You know, like you'll see somebody like a Tracy Ellis Ross, pretty girl. You know, she was a nice looking lady, Diana Ross's daughter. But Diana Ross got with an Edomite, a so-called white man. And that's what Diana Ross is. She's going into slavery along with her dad. 
Same thing with somebody like a Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz, you know, his, you know, so his mom was a so-called black woman, but she got with a so-called white man, and he came out, you know, with that color, kind of looking like us, with the hair texture, looking like us. But he's an Edomite. He's going into slavery. So is his dad. You got um, people like Jesse Smollett, his sister, you know, all them little actors, you know what I'm saying? Those are Edomites. You know, his dad is a Russian Jew. But what do they do? They push and, and make it seem as if, and see, don't think that the so-called white man don't know this stuff. These motherfuckers study everything. They all in the ocean studying everything at the bottom of the ocean. They going all in the space. They can tell you about a goddamn bone from billions of years ago. And you trying to tell me these people don't know that the, your genetic makeup goes by your dad. And it's common sense because your dad is the one that carries the seed, right? Okay. So now let's go back into it. Because I wanted to read into some of what the doctors were saying. Okay. And, and this is just bugged out. But the thing of it is, is, hey, this is the way that, that um, Isaac and, and, and Rebecca um, kind of had that shock. Like, what the hell is going on here? Because this is the mark of Cain, that melanin being lost. See, Cain was regenerated back on earth through Esau. Because there's a such thing as um, reincarnation. Cain came back as Esau. And that mark that the Lord put on Cain, see, people think that the Lord, he, you know, he, you know, put a cross on his head or something or cut him or something. No, that that mark that Cain had in, 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 the, in the beginning was his melanin. The Lord took away his color, you know. And that, that goes with, um, you know, Aaron um, or Miriam, Aaron's sister, when, you know, they talked against Moses and the Lord took away her melanin. And, 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 and Aaron prayed, you know, he was like, hey, please, Lord, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Hey, she, she's half dead because that's that's what this is. Wasted away. That's pretty much what his name goes into. Wasted away is he because without no melanin, you you are pretty much wasted away. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So now. Let's get a little bit of this. Let me read into it a little bit. It says why many people choose to have babies getting married. It's natural for, and hopeful for parents to expect their children to look like them. However, science fiction became a reality for one Nigerian immigrant family in the England. The couple were both black. See, there they go with that black. But you, as you can clearly see, they're brown. And that baby is not white. That What the baby has on is white. His little onesie is white. But he's, you know, like pinkish to reddish in color. It says gave birth to a perfectly healthy white baby. See that? They use black and white. And, and, and got people all over the world thinking that th those are nationalities. And it's not. Those are colors, man. It says, not only did the baby not look like Ben or Angela and their other two children who were black, but their newborn daughter, well, that's a little girl. It's lucky. I thought it was a little boy. Looking nothing like their race. Instead, the baby daughter, whom they named Michi, was blue-eyed, blonde, and white. And like I said, this can happen. Now, it's either one of those three scenarios. He he has um, um he his ancestors his or his forefather was a so-called white man and it came back through 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 him or his mother was a um you know was was you know her parents or grandparents or great great grandparents or whatever you know were Edomites and it came back through her but either way even if they are both just so-called blacks just straight out they can actually have a baby that looked like that because like I said Rebecca and Isaac had a baby that looked like that from the twins. It says the bewildered, bewildered doctors investigating baby Michi's mystery, mystery came up. And with two other possible theories to explain the family's dilemma, the doctor surmised that one of the parents had dormant white genes due to a white ancestor. What I just said somewhere in their gene pool or there was a possibility that the baby Michi had a unique genetic mutation about baby Michi's mystery. Oxford professor, a human genetic Brian Human genetics, Brian Sykes said, we are all, we are all of us genetic mixtures to some extent. And occasionally you'll have a, a convergence of pale versions of these genes in African-Americans and African-Caribbeans who have a mixed black and white ancestry. But that doesn't seem to be the case here. The parents are Nigerians and with little known white ancestry at all. But the thing of it is, is. You can talk all that mix all you want, but there's no such you are what your dad is and it's just straight that that's just straight up what it is Let's get it I've done a similar lesson to this um, The other day 
But let's go into the book of Numbers, because this is the way that we, we see, we go by the scriptures. We're not going by so-called white man science and the, the shit that they know, because these, these clowns will tell you, you that you came from monkeys. These are the same people that, 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 that are out here talking about a man can be a woman, you know, and all this. Other, like, it, it, you listening to anybody that's, that's saying shit like that, then you are a complete fool, man. Numbers chapter 1. This is the registration of the um, Israel troops when they came out of Egypt, right? And Yahweh spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the tabernacle of the congregation on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel. Now, how are they going to take this, this sum of, con of the congregation? After their families. How are they going to do it after their families? By the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their poles. So it's saying after the house of their fathers. It's not saying after the house of their mothers. It's not saying after, the, you know, every female by their poles. It's saying after the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their pole. From 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go to forth to Israel to war in Israel, thou and Aaron shall number them by their, by their armies. And with you there shall be a man of every tribe. See that? Every one head of the household of his fathers. And as you go on through it, it's going to name off the 12 tribes of Israel. And you're not going to see no women in this lineup. This is how you know your progenitor, because the male, he carries the seed. It's just common sense. And don't think that the so-called white man don't know that. But what he wants you to believe is that he's a white man. He don't want you to know that he's Esau, Edom, the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Because the scripture goes off and tell, it tells you that the Lord, he loved Jacob, but he hates Esau. That's in the Old Testament and the New. You see what I'm saying? And, and that their king, this is their kingdom. This is why this is why everything is running all amok. This place is wicked as hell because the Lord called them a base nation. You see, called them a, 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 a these are the people that came out of the caves. That's actually in the book of Job, the so-called white man. And then they give you all this millions of years, 100,000 years ago, billions of years. No, the, the earth is not that old. It wasn't long ago when they was in caves. <laughs> Straight up, but they don't want you to know that history. So they give you Darwinism. They give you this crap about you so-called blacks. Y'all came from apes and all this other shit. Like, man, we was ruling over them at one point. We ran the asses off into the caves. They, <laughs> now they got to come out and rule for a while. And this is their rulership. This is their kingdom. This is why uh, your three-year-old is now being taught that they can, you know, can change their gender. Because you got a stupid-ass people running things. You see? But the Lord is coming back for the children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and we're going back in the rulership, and everything is going to be flipped back to where it's supposed to be because everything is out of sync now running um, with these so-called white people, man. Everything is out of sync. Nothing is in running order, proper running order, man. The water is trash. The air quality is trash. The, the fucking suicide rate is through the roof. People just running up and drive-by shooting at people. You got road rage. <laughs> the food all messed up you know no the children have no respect for the elders it's just this is this man's kingdom look at the television look at the shows that they show you see what i'm saying damn that's a big ass tree lamb that fell anyway yeah yeah but you know let's go back off into it though i wasn't gonna keep this long but i just we just wanted to prove the point that your seed line goes by your dad so like i said again this man if he's the father, if his forefathers was a so-called white man, then he's an Edomite, and that child is an Edomite, and they're going into slavery, and vice versa with the wife. Now, if that man is an Israelite, that little baby that looked like a little white baby, that's an Israelite, because there are people out here that look like so-called white people that are Israelites, because we were scattered through the four corners of the earth. Okay, it says, nonetheless, Professor Sykes, Further explained that genetic mutation within baby Michi was the most likely explanation and further professed that the mutated gene will also be passed on to the baby Michi's future children. So in a nutshell, the mutated gene will pass on to Michi's pro progeny. See, and this is how they get down. Throughout the mystery, Mr. Ben Ahegborough conducted himself admirably and stood by his wife who was worried that she might be accused of infidelity. See, and that was, like I said, that was another, um, 
I guess they probably took that DNA test and that baby for sure really is, though. After that, he quickly came to the rescue of his wife's honor by dispelling any speculations when the uncomfortable question was asked. Of course, she is mine. My wife is true to me. Even if she hadn't been, the baby still wouldn't look like that. Oh, yeah. Anyway, no, you, you, well, I guess these days in time, the average man, he would have definitely, most definitely went and took a DNA test. Whether genetic mutation or not, the baby Michi's mystery shows that unlike the differences, but that's one of the things that they should have really done, you know what I'm saying, to, to, um, to see what was really good, though. You know, th there should have been a DNA test to make sure that, okay, this, that's, you know, that calculation is out. You know, not, but, hey, hey, hey you know, he, know, he claims he knows his woman. You know, but hey, we're living in a world where the average man wouldn't ever think of his woman cheating on him, especially not with somebody of a different race, so to speak, you know. And they're in England, so who knows? Could be the landlord or something. No, I'm just playing. Anyway. Okay, it says, um, however, like Ben and his wife, another couple in Australia was also presented with a mystery. The white couple gave birth to a black child, but unlike Ben, the husband walked out on his wife and accused her of infidelity moments after the black child was born to them. The jilted husband took his case to court in a public opinion that is the Internet, where, where besides accusing his wife of indulging in an affair, he spread the accusation by calling both sides of the family and stating that he wanted a divorce. The poor wife, however, recounted the ordeal. His family, no, nah, man, see, my thing is just get to the proof. I mean, shit, if you got some, you know, if you got a baby that look like this, in these days and times with everything that's going on, man, you got every right to say, hey, look, you know, simple DNA test. Simple D. <laughs> I'm just talking about, and it's from the doctor side of things. Like the doctors is trying to figure out, they're calling it al albinoism. You know, they're trying to say that, you know, maybe back in the days, one of them had a white parent or, or a white grandparent or something like that. So just get to the point, why don't you? Do a DNA test. That's stupid as hell. You know, but anyway. Uh, I'm sure personally that is my kid. <laughs> See? Okay, but the point of the, of the matter is, is we do know and understand that this is possible with so-called black people. It's possible because we, it's scriptural. We know that. But like I said, there's about three scenarios that you can get out of this. But either way. We have to do these lessons because our people that's coming into this truth and that's new to this truth, they have to realize and understand that there are Israelites out here that look like this baby. It's that simple, man. And, and though this may be, a, a, you know, a little bit of a wild little hookup right here, you know what I'm saying? It, it just is what it is, man. You can't look at somebody and say. Oh, that's a white man or that's a Chinese or that's, you know, that's why when we go out on the highways and byways, we just teach. And if it resonates with those people's spirit and they pulled in and, and, and it resonates with their spirit, hey, they could be an Israelite. That's, hey, that's the, we can't, you know, we don't want to turn away any of the little ones or, or the flock, man. We don't want no parts of that. We don't want that millstone tied around our neck and thrown into an ocean or a sea, man. <laughs> Last thing you want to do is offend one of the little ones because you don't know who's who. And that's why I done a lesson the other day. Um, I can't think of the one actor's name. I done a similar name. Um, he went on PBS with that, um, that history tr tracing channel. I can't think of the name of it. But, you know, they, you know, they trace your, your history and see where you're from, who you go back to. And, you know, and come to find out, man, he was, you know, looking like a so-called white dude. He's a damn nigga. <laughs> Name had nothing to do with him or none of that. I mean, few, a lesson I've done about a week back, I think it was. But anyway, let's just keep in mind, and this goes for you, you Hebrew Israelites, man, that's out here. You, you, you come into this truth, you knew, and you're going to get the teaching. You better, you better be teaching the right doctrine when it comes down to um, that colorism and all that stuff, man, because this is not a color thing. Because if you look at, the, you know, all the camps, it's, it's not just GMS. It's, it's a lot of camps that um, have um, what appears to be so-called white people in them. You know? They could be, you know, um, their mother could be so-called, you know, so-called white woman and her dad is a, um, a jake, a so-called black. Or their dad could be a, a um, so-called Hispanic and their mom could be white. You know, or white, whatever. You know, they might have a Taiwanese mom 
and their dad might be a, a so-called black, Hispanic or Native American. Those children will be Israelites and they could look just like a Taiwanese or a Chinese or a Japanese. You know, we see it all the time. You don't know exactly who people are. But see, the so-called white man, he is giving you white and he's giving you black and he's giving you brown. He's giving you yellow. He's giving you all these colors as if they're nationalities and nothing could be further from the truth, man. That man is the goddamn devil. That's how you know he's the devil. He's a deceiver. That's how you know that they're the wicked man that the Bible speaks of. But anyway, you know, um, hey, this is a very interesting story. I could have played the rest of the YouTube hookup. Um, I could probably copy this and share the link in the, the hookup. But you can look this up, though. You know, um, it's actually this particular hookup was in the sun. And hey, it, hey, it's a wild looking situation, but hey, it is what it is. And you got people in the comment boards. You know how that go. A bunch of ignorance is in there. Some people are making some decent comments or whatever, but hey, this this is your example of. And man, I'm I'm pretty sure Rebecca and, and, and Isaac was way darker than these two parents when they had Esau, man. And so I'm telling you, man, that they had to have been probably horrified when they seen his ass. Like, what the hell is this? Because you know, over in Africa, they don't hey that albino, oh you a damn albino in Africa, or oh, you can get the business quick. They'll kill a damn kid. They, hey, they'll kill the baby from birth, man. Like, what is this? That's witchcraft. We got to get rid of it. You know, that's, that's real big in Africa, man. If you, um, but they're in England, of course. Now, if they was in Africa, man, they probably would have killed that baby. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So with that, I predict the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.